something crazy happened to me this week. If you guys guess, like the craziest thing you can think of, you'll probably get it right. I'm gonna leave a card up in this corner and you can guess what it is. The answer's there, but you gotta guess it. What? What'd you do? Bro. What'd you do? Dude, it's for them, not for you. I don't care. Did you break something? What happened? Don't worry about it, man. Well, just tell me. Just no, tell me. it's a survey for them. I don't you care. don't you, Just tell me. What just get it? out of here, man. Just tell me. Yeah. What, what'd you do? Break something? Okay. Is that what happened? Yeah, yeah. I hurt myself. Okay. 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 What's the big deal? Uh -huh. What What do you want me to do about it? Okay. Well, not yeah. Being such I broke idiot. my leg. Look. Yeah. Uh -huh. Check that out. So, yeah. Get out of here. Moron. Thanks. Fuck. Yeah. What Gosh, that guy makes me so mad sometimes. But anyways, yeah, I was uh, playing basketball last week, and I went to jump to defend somebody, and uh, came down on somebody's foot and twisted my ankle, but luckily I didn't break it. And so right after that, I fell and everything, got down and I looked at my leg and it was already swollen. It was like three times bigger than it was. Uh, and here's the picture. So as you guys can tell, it's huge. Um, it's enormous and it hurt a lot, but luckily it's okay because it's not broken. So I can take the this cast off in like, a few days um, on Thursday of this week. So God is good, man. Um, I was so worried that I broke it. And when I came down, it went like super loud. Everybody heard it and it was not good. It was not fun. So I've been reading last week in Acts and I really wanted to talk about Paul and Silas and how they were had a lot of conflict in between even the people that were their people, the Jews um, from the land that they were from. And even though they were not foreigners. They still had a lot of affliction um, from, from those people. And so I want to read today 1 Peter 3.15. But have reverence for Christ in your hearts and honor him as Lord. Be ready at all times to answer anyone who asks you to explain the hope that you have in you. So that says a few things in that um, passage, in that verse. It says, but have reverence in your hearts always. That means... To, to be in awe of Christ at all times because it's that way Christ can live in us if we have that knowledge at all times. And then it also says, be ready at all times to answer anyone who asks you to explain the hope that is in you. We need to be ready at all times to explain with reason um, why we have so much hope and why it is that we're different than the world for people to know that we are children of God because if they don't know that then how are they going to ask and if they don't ask and if we're not showing that at all times then we're not living out um, a good Christian life we're not living a testimony and so absolutely Paul and Silas had this hope but this verse got me thinking after reading their story and and this verse got me thinking like you know do I have this hope that everybody can see in me? Do people see me different than, than anybody else of the world? Um, because we are supposed to live a life of holiness, which a life of holiness means to be set apart, separated, not like the rest of the world, but in a life with Christ, in a, a lifestyle that glorifies God. And so do people really see that in me? That's something that is very important. And obviously it was very good for Paul and Silas to have this because they were living the testimony uh, of Jesus Christ and they produced great fruits from that. So I guess with all that being said, we need to consider what is being written on our face. What is our face showing the world? What uh, are we transmitting to other people from our expressions? These are very important things because they literally glorify God or say a bad testimony about us. People listen to our behavior a lot more than they listen to our words in these kind of things. They don't necessarily uh, want to listen to somebody that is not clearly living something that is different than everybody else. And so with all that being said, I really want to encourage you guys to think deeply the root about your hope, the root about your essence. Are you really truly a son and daughter of, of God? And are you living that out in a, in a tangible way that other people can understand? It says that we need to explain things with reason and also that we need to explain them with love and gentleness. Um, in verse 16, it's really amazing. I lost my spot here, but let me go there real fast. It's really amazing because uh, it explains to us that we need to tell people these things 
with a loving understanding, wanting to help them in the best way possible. And so verse 16 of chapter 3 in 1 Peter it says, But do it with gentleness and respect. Keep your conscience clear so that when you are insulted, those who speak evil of your good conducts as followers of Christ will become ashamed of what they say. And so it's saying that we need to talk with gentleness with them, um, trying to allow them to understand this because it's only by the grace of God that they're going to um, really truly know it like deep down inside. But it is our job to try not to shut them off, but to open them up to our gentleness and to our love. Somebody did a test of water and the health of water. Somebody took a jug of water, two jugs of water, sorry, and spoke words of love and encouragement to one and words of like just demeaning things to the other one um, not loving it at all but cursing it basically and even the health of the water changed and so when we speak to somebody a person with actual feelings and things like that ears that can hear and a mind that can understand and emotions that feel they respond in a different way. And so when we speak lovingly to them, then it's just like frosting a cake beautifully for something that they can easily take in and receive. Because when we don't speak that way, and when we speak in a condemning way to them, they're not going to want to receive it. But when we speak in a loving way, they're going to want to receive it and they will receive it because love from God is irresistible. And when you have God inside of you, that's the love that you speak with. And so I want to encourage you guys to really think about these things and think about the roots of your hope. God wants to use those situations for His glory and you should too. And it's amazing when we do that because lives literally get transformed in front of our eyes. We're here as servants to God and when we serve God, it's the most amazing thing ever because when we give God a little, He gives us a lot. I hope that you guys can understand these things and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And by the time you watch the next video, this bad boy will be taken off and in the trash and I'll be able to walk and so I won't have to stay in my room. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I hope you guys have a great week. Fly by faith and I'll see you on the next one.